Hey, welcome back to Tale Multiverse. This episode we're gonna run with Rock. Um, that went well. Ish. <laughs> it had its problems, but you yeah, know, it was a victory regardless. Uh, we're now moving on to another request, again by Chrono Vortex. Um, we've seen a brief preview of the ship at the end of the last episode. Uh, the AI cruiser Alpha Star, uh, made by him and uh, Raven. So, uh, another mod that's dependent on uh, the Vertex and Chrono. What's it called again? Something something Fire Core. Um, Inferno Core, I think it was called. Um, also, yes, uh, Go Ballistic has gone away and is probably never going to return. Um, I don't see the point of keeping a mod that just adds stuff that I don't like. Anyway, um, so what do we got? Uh, language scanner, that's good. Um, okay, what's the weapons like? Splitter pinpoints. Wait, is that a flak beam weapon? Cluster of pinpoint beams over white? Yeah. Huh. Okay, that's kind of neat. I'm not sure if I'm going to like it, because... You know, it has... A spread to it. If there's one thing that was good about beams is that they were, like... Accurate. They didn't miss and they hit where you wanted them to hit. We'll see. Effector Mark 1 basic hacking field projector that can disrupt systems. Just pure shield and hack systems. Hack systems are temporarily disabled. Oh, so it's hacking in weapon form. Starts off with drone control because you know. <laughs> Why would you be allowed to pick your systems? I'm assuming this will have something to do with the fact that this is empty. Like, maybe it wasn't quite a choice to have drone control or not, but it was kind of mandatory. I don't know. Um, hmm. I like how this guy is just watering his missile launcher. <laughs> like every time I look at the screen, there's something new to be added here. But yeah, we can't see what our crew is doing. At least the manning station seems to be in order, right? <laughs> Shots fired. Um, okay, give me a sec here. Okay, um, I always need to check something before I start the run, just to make sure that I'm not wasting my time. Um, Alright, let's see. I'm gonna go s slowly through this just in case something happens here. Oh. Ignore all of that. Uh, that's just my recording being weird again. That's the kind of stuff I need to check. Thought it wasn't going to do it this time, but there it was anyway. Um, okay. Uh, charge level is normal. I actually get one of these now. Um, Give from the observers on behalf of the last challenger to find us. We still await your meetings. You soon perhaps accept a gift. Blessing of Aether. Precursor rune shall now display on your map whenever present. May your travels be blessed. From for whom do you thank? Why the previous challenger? Okay. Uh, so if I only know what this does, it just makes it so that you might find another renegade, I think. Uh, 
Okay, uh, first things first. Do we have AI manning? Uh, yes, because the doors are manned. Um, so we do have the benefits of being an AI ship. So what are these things now? Okay, they still don't show up in here. Does not take up a crew slot. Max health is reduced to 50. Cannot even met by or be cloned. Provides power and slowly in drone control room. Ah, see there's, there's the reason why we have drones. Regains all health and jump. Cannot teleport anywhere from the enemy. Can teleport anywhere? From the enemy teleporter room. Immune suffocation fires, immune to mind control, can phase through doors. Okay. Okay, weird. Um, hmm. So we can have crew. The question is, do we want them? Okay, how does this look? Yeah. Uh, we know this syncs up. Barely not. Okay, so if we do this, it should hack shields. Okay, how good of a hack is it? It seems like a level one hack. Ignore. Uh, okay. I like this. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it just because it's taking up one of only three weapon slots. But it is good. If you had four of them, I probably would keep it. Uh, pirate ship, okay. How do you take out the supply depot, buddy. <clears throat> hmm. It's, you gotta say that's a pretty cool thing. It even shows you up here. I wonder if you could... Hmm. Ah, it's gonna get killed by... Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Um. Hmm. Not sure to think about this. It's it's a neat concept from a modding perspective because you know it's a beam that fires multiple times. But as far as it being useful, that is still remaining to be seen. Although, I guess, bottom line, this is just a flak weapon that doesn't miss, but doesn't take down shields. This new fresh ship seen in the system for weeks. Uh, sure. 
Not even a booby prize, so oh, thanks. At least it didn't cost us anything. You think the hacking would be able to be used here? No. That would have been a good blue option, just saying. So we can get four more crew members. Mm. Ideally, they would be not requiring a two either. I wonder if this could hack a broken system. Okay, this is possible, assuming we never miss. <clears throat> I haven't seen this thing miss yet, but... Um... Hmm. Yeah, it would be interested in knowing if this could attack a broken system. It's only going to be relevant in Oxygen and Med Bay. But I do wonder about that. If you could hack a broken O2 system, that would be a little bit potent. get this and normal hacking combined and you'd get something potent as well. I haven't seen this thing miss yet either. It does get plus 10 accuracy, which I still don't know what that... This just makes it... If it just makes it more likely to hit, that's pretty great too. Gonna take us a while for them to all suffocate to death, but <clears throat> okay. Um, see if you can get a few more missiles in here to sell. Okay, this thing will actually have to fight off, which is a thing we. Can't really do, so we're gonna have to take down that uh, drone. Yeah, I'm just not gonna go fight that, it seems. Uh... A little dangerous. Yeah, we're not gonna stick it out here. <clears throat> um, okay. Plenty of fuel to go around. Um, so we've got one, two, three, four more systems we can get. Um, if we're not getting any extra crew, we don't need med bay, clone bay, oxygen. Uh, 
Um, is there any way to get more of these? I think you can find them in stores. I believe I read as much on the thread regarding these guys. V5 missiles. Okay. First time missile weapon which can be targeted in precision single warhead mode and multi warhead scatter mode. Look, it takes a missile. Oops, and it's gone. <laughs> Nothing we're really looking for here, is there? Um, There's an NG store, which is unfortunate. So I guess we're doing drone build again, huh? Not exactly proud, but doesn't come with bad rep either. it up because he can't harm us. Let's see, load pirate? Yeah, load pirate. Cool. Okay, speed 10 doesn't do anything anymore. Let's try speed 9. Doesn't seem to work either. Is 5 really the highest it does want to go? No, it doesn't seem to do anything here either. Am I stupid? Yes, it's a typo. <laughs> We have to check if this doesn't go back up to 100, otherwise we're wasting our time here. Eh, we're not, okay. Um, so we're doing this mostly to get better rewards, right? Boarding or crew killing yields better rewards. I haven't seen the hack mess yet. I 
I just hope there's not a Lannis or anything on board. Yeah, it looks like we're good. Okay. Um. Do these three. Okay. Uh, it's still sector one. Okay, but he's got a bomb. Uh, that's a problem because our crew cannot heal. So, we're just gonna kill them here. Can keep things simple. Neat little weapon, that effector. First sector done, and I uh, say we've done some good stuff here. I think that's a double shot. No. Okay, can we then do this? Because. I think there's a good chance of getting a reward if we d d don't completely kill the ship. Yeah, it's a one power option, so yeah, this is possible. Alright. We have the drill. Speed 10. I think we're already at max speed, though, so... What is fun to think about, though, is that... As this guy levels up, this will go quicker and quicker too. If you add on the uh, automated reloaders, well, that could all become pretty darn interesting. Although it's already going quicker because he's level 1 now. Crew killing has never been this easy. <laughs> it's not the fastest way to do it, but... Alright, cool. I suppose you can't talk to these guys. Yeah. It's only a unique crew you can talk to nowadays. And another story we missed out on, unfortunately. It's called Harmony. So let's slow things down again. Okay. Forge Master is up and running. We have some money. We could use a proper gun. Got a freaking halberd beam. I do like how... Well, he's trying to either get to doors or battery. I don't know if he's in this room or in this room. Oh, he's just going for the drone control? That's surprising. So, don't you guys heal when you're in the... Uh... Heal slowly in drone control room, yeah. So we could send somebody out to go and fight. Mm -hmm. 
And they only provide power to the drone control room. Huh. Which makes sense, because otherwise they wouldn't be able to heal on it. If you don't have any active drones. Oh, hey, there it goes. It can miss. Okay. Kind of assumed it would, but... Should win this fight. Yes, he takes less suffocation down, but he still takes it. Um, okay. So actually, you brought the power powers that proven effective. Ship explodes, just grab the remains. Yay! Alright, Forge Master. Show me what you got. Uh, should you be getting all your health back? Yeah, there it is. Um, see what he's offering. We'd like to get a second prom as you craft after shopping. Take note of the forge button. What forge button? There's a store button here, but not a forge. Oh wait, is that it? Yeah, good job hiding it away behind the actual ship. <laughs> Extremely quick, keep your shield barrier under constant suppression. One variable on projector, let's unscrew. Mm. It's not harm, crew or hull, cannot lower shields. The only thing in here that looks worthwhile is a frost laser. to equip later. Alright. Uh, oh, Andy store, really? <laughs> Again, we can use drones, after all. Alright. Uh, Roaming the mind control, that's good. Speed up again. Suffocation going not too well, I recall. Yeah, uh, just kill him. Yeah, yep. yeah this defector cool as it is, is gonna start losing its uh, usefulness. Uh, 
And he's selling drones. Prism cannon. An impact with the enemy ship, it refracts randomly, hitting up three different adjacent rooms. Right, so it's similar to the splitter we have here. This is two for 17, splits into... How does this even work? Base hull damage two, total system damage two. Hits up three different adjacent rooms with five total damage. I... It's the combat drone and maybe even the am drone that I'm interested in. Is there any chance to at least get some scrap in here before we have to leave the store behind? That would be grand. Okay, this could be a good time to see if you can hack a destroyed system. Also, you almost died. Okay, it's level 2. That's unfortunate. Get out of here without taking a hit. Now would we? Hits our weapon systems again. Of course he does. It seems the hack does work. Okay. Next question, can you stack hack to make it go twice as fast? Secure it. Ooh. Well, why buy a drone if you can just get one for free? Uh, unlike your standard drone, the specialized AM drone can be configured to launch more than one projectile at the cost of more power. Okay, so it takes power, but a little too power now. Um, how much was it for the drone wreck arm? Was it 50 scrap? Which would be incredibly cheap, actually. Yeah, it's only 50 scrap. Okay, let's do it. Back a battery, but I don't like using it. Usually, once it goes down, it takes off something that you really don't want to go down. Engine are down. Okay, well, then. so okay, so you get more projectiles, but wait, does this mean it only has 
one projectile now. Speed 15. Okay, never mind that. Uh, Total automation for crew drones currently disabled. Oh, you mean these guys? Can they just work? No, yeah, no. I'll... Level 2 auction again. They're starting to learn, lads. They're starting to learn. Okay, let's turn you off for a sec. I kind of want to see if this still works. Yeah, it does. Wow. Hacking a broken system. <laughs> Potent. Again, it only works for uh, Auction and Met Bay, but even so, damn, dude. Oh, they fixed it. Who fixed it? Because if that's like a... Yeah... A phantom. Okay, one more power bar. Alright, into our exit. And then we can end this first episode, which I should have done a few fights ago, but whatever. Um, sure, we got a drone, it shouldn't put up much of a fight. Cool. Sector map's kind of pointless, but whatever. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the series. See you guys all next episode. Bye, everyone.